hurts. Yeah, we teleported back. We didn't say quit, I promise. And that's it. Um, you do that, and then you get the third set of missions, and then you get to loot the factory again, which we're not going to do, because we've already done it twice. There's no point right now. If we need the experience, we'll do it. Like, I'm hoping that Claptrap DLC is not going to be, uh, like, level 60 enemies, because I've, I've heard about that. And I, I, I recently looked that up, and I'm like, uh-oh, is that true? Alright, here you go, Marcus. Hello, Local trouble. Marcus Damn! I've got an so, x Kong. Alright, so he wants us to grab the convicts. So that's who we kill. We kill prisoners, midgets, and uh, skags. Um, I don't know if I should do this, but, you know, I'll, I'll cut out, like, the drive there. Okay, I cut out that whole drive. It's like, oh my god, it's so long. Especially when there's nothing in there. Um, so we're going to be uh, taking out the midgets and the skags. Those are probably going to be... Uh, those are kind of hard, but if you go over here, you should be fine. Uh, crap, crap, stop, stop, stop! Jeez, man, you almost didn't stop. So we're gonna go here for a second, grab this chest. Like, if you're doing this mission, might as well grab the chests, right? We're not gonna grab all of them, but we're gonna grab, uh, we're definitely gonna grab a Crimson Lance one over there. Look here, grab that, we don't need that. Man, that's like the third Iridian gun we picked up this part. Don't worry, they will all be sold and discarded immediately. So you go up here. Plop yourself down right here. Midgets are uh, below you. But yeah, you can actually make the jump from... Oh, excuse me. Actually make the jump from here to here. And uh, there's the chest. That's how you farm it. If you don't want to find anybody. Ooh, hello, that's a good one. Okay, wow, this is, uh, this chest usually has, this chest is very good, so I would recommend always going there to look for it. Alright, so we're fighting the midgets now with the skags. Shouldn't be too, they, they can be a problem, uh, when they're about the same level as you, because you have the guys that have the grenades that are just super annoying. Or you have the guys that have, uh, you have the baddest that have the freaking shields on you that are gonna just... I mean the shield, not the shield, the shield strippers. Get out of here, you. Alright, they didn't drop anything, so we're fine. Now, we will not kill all of them right now. And these guys are so fast when they run. Like, for some reason, these guys are, like, super fast. And I think it was because they thought the enemy type wasn't very threatening. But they became so threatening now that it's like, it's kind of insulting. You have enemies that don't really have critical hit spots you can't hit. Until you break their armor. Like, these guys are legitimately tough. Um, max level. Same level, max level, they are legitimately tough. You have the skags, which are always tough because of the armor that they have. It doesn't look like it now, but that's because I'm so OP. But they look, they still took out my shield. They could put me down right now. You know, it's it's not it's not like oh they it's not like an easy win. It's you know it's a tough enemy, a Borderlands 2 enemy because they have the exploding things on them that when they die they can still kill you. Yeah, yeah. I, I I'm telling you, man. This 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 thing, this DLC feels like Borderlands 2. It feels like uh, Borderlands 1 version of Borderlands 2. You have enemies that are super quick, super hard to hit. They blow up after they die sometimes. They uh, they kill you super good, no matter what level you're at. You know, uh, what else do they have? They have the Crimson Lance, where it's like enemies are only affected against this, uh, this element. So, you know, use elementals more often. Don't use, don't use non-elemental weapons. No. Okay, I can't hit him. He's too, he's too, he's too insane. Ah! It's like a pack of hyenas. And I'm the lion. Look how fast he is. Like, he can't even control his thing. Like, they're so fast, they don't even have a turning radius on themselves. That's kind of odd, isn't it? I mean, it's kind of funny while watching them haul ass at you, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, 100%. So we gotta kill more skags, and there should be more guys up here. 
those guys, those, these guys, I would say, are the only unfair enemy uh, that are around here, be simply because they have that. They, they you can't break their helmet, and they have a lot of health at max level. The only way you can kill them is just use fire, and it's like, okay, so there's no input. Just use this element and win, huh? Not really much of an input, huh? It's like about as much input as using Pokemon super effective moves. It's like, you know, it's like, okay. I guess. I guess, I mean, fuck strategy, right? You know? <laughs> Just use super effective moves and beat the game. Don't try anything new. Gun always beats face. Just say all those, all those anime lessons of, like, Pikachu beating ground types? No, it doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. Doesn't happen. Yeah, but what happens if Pikachu has Surf? Doesn't matter. Sturdy, sturdy break Surf. Then you die. <laughs> Sorry, Pikachu. Don't worry, Pikachu. At least you're OP and frickin', uh... What's it called? Uh, Smash Brothers Ultimate. Like, every Smash game, Pikachu's, like, the, like, the strongest character. It's like, huh. You would think after a while they would figure, you know... A character that's fast, hard to hit, and uh, can can kill you is, is gonna be good. They sort of figured that out with Sheik saying, huh, maybe we shouldn't have Sheik do so much kill power. And now it's Pikachu's like, Pikachu's like, yeah, I'd, screw that, I'll kill you as earlier than, uh, than a lot of characters. They can't control themselves, they're too fast and too quick for us. Really, if you crouch, you get in a better spot for the headshots. No, not that that was a headshot. Because, as I said before, the enemies are wonky. They don't care. They have heads that... Oh, I picked up a shield I didn't want. Here, have a, have a bird. I have no idea where he put that. I think he killed himself. That's fine by me. But yeah, these guys are strong. I mean, they're not dying in one hit, and they're fleshy enemies with no shield. That's pretty strong. They're fast? But, like, how many advantages do they need? The only thing that they don't have is they don't have guns, all of them. But then they have things that kill you in one hit anyway, so it doesn't matter. They throw their swords at you, and the swords are actually faster than bullets. I shit you not. When they throw their sword at you, it's faster than bullets, usually. Odd. I know, this game has a lot of odd choices. Uh... I still like it a lot, though, but, like, a lot of choices are very odd. Like, the looting in this game. The looting is amazing. The gunplay, not so much. The gunplay, not so much. The, the Vault Hunter is not so much. The only Vault Hunter that's kind of, like, pretty interesting to play... ...is, I would say, Roland or Lilith. Because they do st stuff that other characters don't. Like, what does Brick do? He pulls out his melee and he punches you a little bit and then he dies. You know, Mordecai, he throws a bird out and the bird can sometimes kill enemies and then he shoots you in the face. Yeah, that's fun and all, but it doesn't feel like a, like anything special other than Mordecai does more damage when he shoots you in the face. <laughs> you know? Roland and Lilith feel different characters because Roland gets a, gets a Scorpio turret, which essentially gets you a second line of fire on enemies, gives you ammo, does a whole bunch of strategic things with it just to pull enemies away from you. You can use it as a half cover if you really need to. I would not recommend it though because it sucks. You know? And then Lilith has like free reign of the battlefield. She gets to run around the battlefield like a bunny rabbit. Teleport away if she gets into a bad spot. You know, reposition. It's like that's pretty interesting. Brick, you know, Brick. I mean, I guess Brick gets rocket launcher upgrades, but rocket launchers aren't very good anyway. You know, he only, like, Brick makes rocket launchers from bad to good, you know? But that's only Brick. It, it's odd. All right, so I came here for the midget. I, I hope this, if this doesn't count, well, we'll see. Right, it should. All right, it does count. Good. There should be another guy here. Thank you. I meant to grab the ammo, but sure. I totally wanted to, I totally wanted to get rid of my masher. Wasn't like there's ammo right next to it. Still waiting for this guy to pop up. There's usually two of them. There he is. That was the double proc card. He should be dead now. His mouth. As soon as they open their mouth, they're dead. So yeah, uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll probably finish this up off screen. To be honest, 
The prisoners, if you're wondering where the prisoners are, they're up uh, by Mr. Shanks' thing, and maybe we'll do the prisoners and then end it as a part. And I'll kill the, uh, the rest of the midgets. But there's a few other on this map that you can get to. Um, the skags, they're not a problem. You can kill them in, like, I think... I think you can even kill them in normal DLC, to be honest. Yeah, Midgetville's good. Uh, what else? What else is good? Um, the, the, you know, we should do that. We should actually go over here. Because it would repopulate the enemies more quicker, I think. Alright, so we're going to drive over this way. Uh, there's a, another uh, mini midget ward over here. And then we're going to take on the prisoners. The prisoners, you can I think you can do in one shot because... Uh, because there's about 50 of them in the in the whole Shanks stabbing palace anyway. Under what the lockdown palace? Yeah. I almost call it <laughs> it's Mr. Shanks the stabbing ground, male stabbing ground. Giggity. All right, here's the second one. They always spawn here too. There's probably like eight, nine. Yeah, these guys. They're uh, they're not they're they're not the easiest enemy, you know. Especially those badasses. The badasses are actually legitimately tough. I think they I think this is sort of like their thing of like, hey, let's make an enemy way tougher in the DLC. Because they also have different models, they run faster, they do different things, they can ride skags. I tried to jump up. The only thing that's not different are the shotgun guys. These guys are pretty common. Should be two more. I think that's it. We'll take a quick look. Grab some ammo. And, yeah, we'll take a look. No one. See? No one. Alright, so we're at the prisoner now. Uh, this is the lockdown palace, and I'm going to be selling my stuff, and then, you know, I'm probably going to be cutting out a lot of stuff, so if it, if it seems like it's jumping around, it's because it is. Force of habit? Who knows? Alright, so let's throw on what I wanted to, the bad invader. So this gun's cool. So you're firing it, normally it does this, but you aim down sights, like Doll in the last game, in Borderlands 2, and empties the entire magazine. So it's a burst fire when you aim down sight. So yeah, that's what Hyperion had in, in this game. That was like their thing. I believe all of their legendaries do that except for the, uh, the bitch, or the, the lady of the night, or whatever they want to call it now. Now do you, do you count? Oh, okay, uh, hello. So, I don't think he count. Wait, he did count. Okay. He did? He didn't. I can't tell. It's odd that it's shooting one first, and then it's going to the, uh... To the, uh... To the burst fire. Normally, the, normally it's always burst fire, so I don't know what's happening there. Could be just with this gun. Could be with the, the game not knowing what it wants to do. So yeah. Okay. Uh, where are you? It's. I'm glad we're coming back here though, because we have a chance to get the uh, the trucks and wrestler com. Excuse me. The trucks and the trucks and wrestler com. All right, good. I got the guy with the head of the, the, the SMG that's gonna kill. These guys are the most annoying shit enemies I've ever seen. They don't flinch when you shoot them, and they have <coughs> their aim is insane, and they have quite a bit of health. I would say they're close to a mini boss enemy. Close. Not not maybe halfway between badass and mini boss, somewhere Ooh. beyond that. As you can see, it's like look at him. He doesn't care until he's dead. Until until his corpse hits the ground. And I wouldn't be surprised if his corpse was still firing. Lady Luck. Now on max level they're they're a real they're 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 probably the most dangerous enemy in this area except for Chaz. Chaz is another very dangerous enemy. No, it's not right. They're not much of a thing right now. Uh huh. Yeah, I like I like how you, when you swing, your model disappears over and over again. Yeah, a lot of enemies they just they, they have this quirk to them where it's like, <laughs> take that. Also, you're not a blue claptrap, are you? Nope, you're not. You're black and blue claptrap because now you belong in prison. So, uh, yeah, I hear a guy chasing me now. Probably, uh, okay, I don't want that. Why, why, why would they keep giving me that? Uh, 
as you can see, enemies don't flinch unless you shoot them in the face normally. But this guy, these guys, uh, these guys do not care. Like, like as you can see, they don't care that they're getting shot in the face. Now, now, now to show you, show it off. These guys do flinch. So the badasses do flinch, but the guys that aren't, the guys that aren't badasses, quote unquote, don't. It's odd. I'm not sure if that was done on purpose or a mistake. You know, like if they're because it's just an odd thing of all these enemies, including the badasses, flinch. Bosses flinch, but not those guys. Why, what makes them special? You know? Other than they don't flinch. And it's like, hmm, I wonder if that was just a mistake and they just overlooked it, which is possible. Makes them a hell of a lot tougher, too, because they're not necessarily following the thing. Yeah, and I did see that. I did see him draw it, but... Mongol... Mongol's good for Cromerics. Uh, it's not a bad one, but we're not going to be using it, so we'll probably throw the things up. Yeah, he doesn't flinch either. Uh, him and Bonehead are, it's why it's dangerous on them. They don't normally flinch. And they have a lot of health. You know, there it goes, he flinched down, so I don't know what caused that, you know what I mean? Like, what, like, what caused the flinch? You know, is it, is it an overlook? Is it an overlook, or, or what? No idea. These guys though they always flinch so so what what's what's the wrong what's the wrong thing what's what's the wrong thing is it the one that always flinches or the one that never flinches or randomly flinches it's just an inconsistency i've noticed i don't know if it's uh you know supposed to be that though all right that might be a uh, corrosive or uh, incendiary bouncing betty yeah i think i have one that's better though right yeah, about the same it is the same, actually. Oh, hello. That's not better. We want an and ransack. All right, so we still got to kill 35 more prisoners, as you can see. See, it does take them down. You know. I'm aiming at my feet, and I still can't see him. I don't think he liked me. All right, so the he didn't count though. Why did the trucks can did the trucks can muster count? I'll take a look. I'll take a look. We, we should say one or two more. But as you can see, that guy, you know, it's like why did he flinch before when he got shot in the chest? You know, I don't know. Is it a damage threshold? Is it what? Does does shock cause him to flinch more? I don't know. I would use the tooltips, but the tooltips often lie. Oh, speaking of which, let's see if we can show this off right now. So this should it, it. Okay, so as you can see, it's not working. Okay, it's not working now. All right, so yeah, so that's how it does work. You have to save quit out, and then it works. That's supposed to bypass shields, and it does work. Okay, here we go. Here's this thing. It's like, okay. <laughs> bird. Oh my god, bird, please. Bird. Hey, bird. Alright, so we have a few more guys to kill. Here they go again. Yeah, uh, this invader pistol is really good. Uh, there's an even better version of this pistol called the Nemesis Invader, which is a hybrid of the Nemesis pistol and the Invader. Not to be confused with the Invader Sniper Rifle, I know. They, there's that too in this game. There's an Invader Pistol and an Invader Sniper Rifle. It's odd. Anyway, so the Invader the invader Pistol can actually spawn with a Nemesis accessory, which is another thing. It's a pearlescent. So you get a pearlescent gun that has this accessory on it that lets you shoot your entire magazine. And what the Nemesis does is the Nemesis uh, actually has shock and corrosive damage on it. So you end up having a fully automatic uh, gun that when you aim down sight shoots a bunch of shock and corrosive on top of enemies and it procs like crazy. And it's literally, it's literally like one of the strongest weapons that you can get. 
little baby pistol. I shot the guy behind him, and the guy behind me shot me. That's that's not a big thing. It's like I looked in here. I think I I think I went like this to look in. Then I went here, shot this guy, and then a guy spawned in after I looked. It's like eh. I always thought it'd be a kind of cool mechanic where, like, if you look at an enemy spawn hole, you can close X amount of them out. So, like, say, like, I'm walking past an enemy spawn hole, I don't want enemies to shoot me in the back. I press the button, it closes, but I can only do it on, like, three of these out of all of these in this room. So I have to strategically close on which ones I don't want to open and shoot me in the back. But, you know, that's, that's for a later game, hopefully, uh, another game. A lot of games do that, though, where enemies spawn in behind you and just be like, uh -huh, got ya, got ya. It's like, yeah, you got me, but, you know, not much I could have done about that, aside from, you know, constantly do 360s. Alright, so there is a guy to my right. I see him on the mini-map, or the radar, I guess it is. We'll take a look here. Transfusion, not bad. Uh, where is he? He's shooting at the wall. There's at least two guys. One with a shotgun. Oh, he's downstairs. Okay, that's not a problem. <clears throat> oh, hello. That's another really good one. I don't think we, uh, I think we have a better one, though. Let's take a look. Ranger Cobb. Four. Yeah, that's better. I know that's technically better with the team accuracy in that, but the four on the Predator is way better than the three. Mm. So many to choose from. I would definitely take that right away if it was four on the Predator. Because four on the Predator plus the more critical hit damage is amazing. All right, so yeah, I guess we're done here. We're gonna we're gonna finish up. We're gonna pray. Uh, wait, is he up there? Okay, good. I have fifty already. I don't need to kill him. So yeah, what I'm gonna do now is I'm pro. I don't know if I'm gonna end recording, but we'll see. Uh, maybe I'll continue on. Uh, Cause we are almost done with the mm, the midgets might be a problem. But we sh we have the prisoners done, which is good, and we're gonna get uh, another trucks can wrestler, probably up here. And if we get a Truxican wrestler up here, we have a chance for the Truxican wrestler calm. There he is. Hey, buddy. Okay. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. Amazing. It's, maybe that's why, you know, doors should, you know, be touchable. And not, like, automatic. Alright, so he did not count. And he didn't drop the wrestler calm either. Oh, what a chode. What a, what a little chode. He punches me down the elevator. Doesn't even give me the calm I want. Doesn't he, you know? <laughs> he points at me like like I did something wrong. Let's check here. No, no chest. So there's one more chest we can get, and we're just heading straight out. I do notice no midgets do spawn on this map, and I'm guessing that Mr. Shanks probably shanked them all. It's unfortunate. Could have dealt with a little fun around here. Damn it. Running, running, running all night. <laughs> Hey, oh. Nope. No midget here. Truckskin wrestler? Can I have an autograph? No? Okay. See, so, yeah, I guess we're not doing, uh, we're not doing melee build. Unless, unless, th actually, this is never him. I'm getting your hopes up again. I really can't do melee build if I don't have the melee comm. What are you talking about? I got one truck and wrestler comm and it was tour. What is that blowing up? <gasps> Alright, so we're going back to uh, to little old uh, Midgetville, but I think there might be... Uh, I want to see if Skag spawn here, because there is a hole. Uh, wait, can I not go through here? Give me a second. I just want to see. 
I don't normally go around here. So yeah, okay, okay, perfect. So we do have more enemies to, to deal with. Right, as you can see, uh, enemies, they don't care. They don't care that they're dying. That's what I liked about the uh, the stalkers in Borderlands 2 is that when you broke their shield, they would sort of run away sometimes, unless they were the ravaged stalkers. Which were the stalkers that sort of broke all the rules, and that's why people normally hate them. They're like, mm, 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 I'm gonna bite him, and then 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 he's gonna, and then as soon as he goes down, I'm gonna run away. It's like, um, that's not, that's, that's a very, that's a very good plan. Why, why are you considered rabbit now? If you have a, if your mind's working correctly? I don't see any more enemies. I'm gonna take a pot shot over here. Oh man, I have not been down here in so long. I, I do remember enemies being here, but I don't remember why I came down here other than exploring. Is there... What is down here? What is this? What is this hidden place that has never been seen by man or streamer? Hello? Steve? It's me, Blue. Oh no, they're coming here to play the close Steve's, no! Alright. Damn, he blew himself up. Actually, his friend blew him up. What a shit friend. Hope that countered for me. Man, this gun's pretty good. Aw oh, man, can you imagine if I had a good version of this gun? Okay, wow, I was shooting at his chest and I was still missing. He was so fast, his, his chest didn't exist. Not for me, it didn't. Yeah, what sucks about these guys is that they can spam their grenades so much. They, they get to spam like two in a row. What happens is, is the guy with the shotgun is the one that usually kills you because you're trying to have, have kill the guy that's more dangerous first. And yeah, I know that... Oh, okay, wow, I sucked that up. Mordecai like, uses his force to grab it. This is mine now. I need this, says Mordecai. He just. All right, so this sh is a trap, quote unquote. Let's jump away. It should be Mini Steve. No, no Mini Steve, huh? No, not even a trap either. Interesting. Incendiary contact, explosive long blow. That's not bad. Yeah, so we're down to 85 or 82. There's another guy over here, but that might be. Uh, I don't think that's a midget. I think that's a. Uh, on the other side of the thing, either a driver or a... What the hell is it called? A uh, strider. Driver or a strider. Yeah, here's another area where you can get it. Like, you can get it one map. Alright, throw the bird out. The bird will kill the guy on the skag. Right, oh, shoot him in the side. That's where they don't have armor, so they take way more damage. But generally it generally it doesn't really feel much better, to be honest. You know, it's normally it's it just feels like that the, the badass skags, the alpha skags, they want you to use corrosive or they want you to use fire. Yeah. So like Jacobs, Jacobs, oh man, using Jacobs on skags is, is like a iffy scenario. If you're the same level as them. You have to wait for them to roar, but then they don't want to roar. They don't open their mouth sometimes. And sometimes they'll just... <laughs> just biting you over and over again. It's like, get off my leg! Get off my leg, dude! I'm like, stop. This guy's like... <laughs> Alright, we killed that skag. We killed the skag warrior. Oh, see? Who killed me? Well, I, like, where'd my health go? I don't know. I got hit by something. Was it the... Was it the... Was it the... Was it the... Was it the badass? Was it the... Was, was it my low health? I don't know what happened. Did I get hit by a... Uh, did I get hit by a grenade that I didn't hear the sound effect blow up? I don't know. That's one of those things where it's like... Like, how did I die? Borderlands has this problem of, how did I die? In all of the games, except for, I don't know, maybe... Uh, I don't know about 3, but definitely 2 through pre sequel definitely, or one, 1 through the pre sequel have... Uh, have the thing of like, wait, how did that kill me? What did I do wrong? And then it's like, oh yeah, you just died because, you know, something happened. The game's like, yeah, we got you. 
At least in Borderlands 2, 90% of your deaths are gonna be like, Hey, there was a barrel I didn't know was in this room. And it blew up when I was next to it. I really would like to see the KD ratio of the barrels. That'd be kind of funny. Alright, so we should be going back to Midgetville, right? Should be right here. Okay, so we should have three more guys here, and then we're done. I went back to Midgetville. I cut out that part of me just running around. It was just me, you know, just slowly talking. Not, not a, it's, it's, it's a problem. Alright, so we're done. We'll finish up. We'll kill these guys, then we'll do our outro. I really want to see what my health was when I lost... I knew I lost my shield, and I think my health got eaten in one go. That one part where I went down and I got back up instantly. I had no idea what happened, but I'm pretty sure I got hit by, uh, by a sword, and then they ran into me, and all three of them hit me at once. Maybe. Alright, so, uh, yeah, we'll be seeing you next time. We're gonna be in T-Bone Junction, we're gonna turn this in, we're not gonna do It's Like Christmas, and we're gonna go to the Claptrap DLC. The, one of the funnest DLCs, if you don't count this one, or the <laughs> Jacob's Cove one. Yeah, Claptrap one is okay, it's, doesn't have good, as, as good a loot as this. That's the one thing that holds Claptrap back. This loot and this DLC makes it the best, and only because of the loot and General Knox as a character. That is it. See you next time.